Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making little mini pizzas using stuff that I already have on hand. So the pizza dough is actually um, this, these yeast dinner roll doughs. So for each little pizza, I use two dough balls and I let them come to room temperature. I didn't let them rise. And then I just kind of form them into little individual little pizzas. They're probably about four inches across. And then I am going to be using some marinara sauce. And then I've got some pepperoni that I need to use up and some cheese. So I am going to pop these, pop these in the oven at 400 for about, I guess, I don't know, eight to 10 minutes, we'll see. But I'll be back and show you how they turn out. Okay, so here are the mini pizzas. I ended up letting them bake for about 12 minutes. Let me show you the bottom of one. So this is what it looks like on the bottom. Uh, next time, I think I would add more sauce. I went kind of lighter on the sauce, but I think it needs a little bit more sauce, but they still look really good. And then I decided to throw some wings in the air fryer. And the wings that I am using are these crispy takeout wings from Costco. Um, not using the buffalo sauce with it. I'm actually using this jerk barbecue sauce instead. So I just tossed it on the wings once they came out of the air fryer. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard actually made dinner for us. He made shrimp and broccoli. He made something similar to this um, when we were dating and I don't think he's made it since we've been married. So it smells so good, but he's got fresh broccoli and shrimp. He has um, oyster sauce, garlic, chili oil, um, soy, soy, sauce. soy sauce. That's about it, right? Uh, and yeah. A white pepper, he said, um, but he is um, serving it over some white rice. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I'm trying out a new recipe for these chicken stuffed jalapenos. And of course, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. But on a cookie sheet here lined with foil, I've got my jalapenos and I've already uh, cut them in half and taken the seeds out. And here is the mixture that's going in the jalapenos. I've got cream cheese, cheddar cheese, cooked chicken, and salsa. So I'm gonna stuff these and then bake them at 400 for about 20 minutes, it said, or 25 minutes, or until they are golden brown. Okay, so here is dinner all plated up. That was a really quick and easy meal to make. Serving it with a side of pastaroni, the Parmesan cheese flavor. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so we had a change in plans for dinner tonight. Originally, I was going to make soup, but our AC stopped working this morning and it's just too hot to eat soup. We did have a repairman come out and it's fixed, but the house still hasn't cooled down yet. So I made some pre-cooked bacon and I just cooked it in the, or heated it up in the microwave, I should say. And then I made a few eggs using this little mini griddle that I picked up from Ross. I guess it's been a few weeks ago and I love this thing. So easy to use. Just cracked my eggs, put it in there, shut the top and they are good to go. And then I went to Kroger earlier today to pick up a few things and I found these croissants on sale for 90 cents. So we're having that. And I actually had a coupon for 85 cents off croissants. So I got this box of croissants for five cents. Can't beat that. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, our entire meal is coming from HEB, which is a grocery store here in Texas. So I made this rising crust HEB Supreme pizza. 
um, one of Howard's favorites, and here it is. And on the side, we are going to have this chopped luau barbecue salad kit. And here it is in the bowl. And um, it has savory coconut pieces, carrots, sunflower seeds, dehydrated pineapples, green onions, and barbecue dressing. I tasted the dressing, and what it reminds me of is kind of like French dressing, but there's a bit of smokiness to it. And as you can see, all of that's goodness in the salad. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.